against her wishes. They dragged her out of her village and threw her on a ship. No one ever asked her what she thought or whether she wanted to come. It must have been terrifying. She had nothing when she arrived. They even took her name away from her and gave her a new one because they couldn't pronounce her African name. But my people survived. We helped build this country with our blood and sweat and tears. We've been in America for 18 generations now. One of my sons has done well in banking, and the other played two seasons for the New England Patriots. They're good men and proud, admired by everyone. I'd like to think they have that first ancestor's blood in their veins. There are still many people coming here because they don't have any choice. Wars and famine across Africa are driving them out of Sudan, Ethiopia, Sierra Leone, and Rwanda. They join people fleeing wars in Bosnia, Colombia, and elsewhere seeking safety and freedom. Coming here was a life or death decision. Ah. Hang on, it's recording. It's recording. Go on, bitch. 